And we're learning more tonight about the plan to raise wages for dozens of Knoxville City employees. You know, we first told you two weeks ago how Mayor India Kincannon is proposing a strategy to fight staffing shortages in the city's core services. The plan would raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour for full-time and permanent part-time employees. Six on your side's Wes Cooper was at the classification and compensation study presentation tonight and is digging deeper into the plan. Part of the urgency. More than 1,550 people work for the city of Knoxville. Mayor India Kincannon and several others believe city workers deserve a more competitive payment. Their compensation needs to reflect how valuable they are to our community. And as we've seen in the past, it's been lagging for many, many years. Uh, this is important to us. This is important to the community. Under the proposed compensation plan, all city employees besides the mayor and council members would have a 6% salary increase with the goal to balance inflation. There's a lot of challenges in hiring new employees as well as trying to keep our trained employees from leaving. They get job offers, hire jobs, and our ability to keep these core services going is, is strained. Right now, there are 149 jobs open with the city, but with low applicants, low retention, and an aging workforce, it's causing some to worry. 90 folks that are uh, over to retire in under two years, and we have uh, right at 50 folks that are going to retire today. Within two years, 75 people, a little bit above, right around there, can walk off and leave. Uh, of course, we're hoping to recruit more to fill those spots so everybody moves up. After conducting a study the city paid for, Russell Campbell with Management Advisory Group International is recommending for leaders to implement a 25-step increase plan for firefighters and police officers. Investigator Jason Booker says the new payment plan would go a long way, and he's never seen Knoxville's police department so shorthanded. We've got guys and gals working 12-hour uh, shifts, fourth overtime. We need help. If the new compensation plan is approved, it would take effect July 1st in Knoxville, West Cooper, WATE 6 on our side. All right, Wes, thank you. It's unclear how the city will fund the additional pay for city employees, but all options are on the table, we understand. And to get a full look at the proposed compensation plan, look for this story on our website, WATE.com.